Diane. I'm the design consultant here at Ambiance Design. Welcome to one of our other um, Facebook videos that we've been doing weekly. Sorry we missed you yesterday, but we were actually making a scarecrow at Folklay at Gwynedd. Um, it's a community locally in Gwynedd, Pennsylvania, and we love being a part of the community. So we decided to be a part of their contest and make a beautiful scarecrow that was very fairy tale inspired. So please check it out and vote for our scarecrow. Um, so today we are going to talk about wallpaper. Um, I love wallpaper. It's probably my second favorite thing to pick out for a space besides fabric because I love fabric too. Um, and here we have displayed some beautiful grass cloths. So I thought I'd walk you through our showroom areas that we have um, wallpaper displayed and then kind of touch on um, different books and different applications that we have in our showroom. Um, so like I said, this is some beautiful grass cloth by Tiba, which is one of the lines we carry. Um, grass cloth is a great way to warm up the space without putting too much pattern or texture. You can keep it kind of simple or you can get pretty textured oriented if you want to have, you know, some dimension in the space. And in the front of our showroom, we love displaying also these shadow boxes of different wall coverings. So we have two York wall coverings on display, one that shows um, an agate sky on a beautiful fall color collection. Um, and um, it's very trendy right now, the agate print, and there's fun ways to apply that in your spaces, such as an accent wall or something of those sorts. And then um, the watercolor look is very trendy now too. Um, I find it very transitional um, and can be very colorful or very subtle in the space. So I thought I'd show you this part of our showroom. So we'll go back in the um, back area of our showroom, which is one of my favorite parts. It's pretty much where I live. Um, we have fabrics and of course we have another accent wall of wallpaper. This one is by Tebo as well and it is a beautiful version of a damask print. It's very different, very linear, and we thought we would kind of keep it neutral but still impactful. So um, it has a black background with a metallic design to it, perfect for walls like a TV wall, maybe in your basement or a space that you entertain in a lot, because you don't always want your TV to stand out. But this was a great application where it um, kind of blends in with the space, but we do a really cool pattern on the wall, so you can have fun with it. So I want to walk you through one of the lines we carry, which is called Zofany. Um, Zofany has a couple lines to it as well, such as Harlequin. Um, and I just wanted to show you a few books that are my favorites and some fun ways to apply it. So if you look over here, um, you can see there's some fun, funky applications, like some butterflies for maybe your teenage girl that loves boho patterns. Or, you know, you want to do something somber in a baby's room or a nice, like, relaxing reading room, like some clouds. Um, and the one thing I love about Harlequin and Zofany is that it's very European. Um, it's, it's based out of Europe. And um, they do some fun stuff and then some very traditional and subtle things, too. So one of our favorite um, wall coverings is this hummingbird wall covering. You can do it in green, um, you know, going neutral with the grays. Or you can have a lot of fun and do hot pink. How cool is that? So a great um, application for an accent wall or even a powder room. Why not have fun in a powder room? Um, usually powder rooms are a smaller space, so some people get intimidated. They don't want to go too dark because it's already small. But I would say whether you go dark or light with a wall covering or paint, you're still creating a feeling. So, um, you know, just because it's a small space doesn't mean you have to do white or something simple. Um, have fun. Um, the other thing I tell customers about powder rooms is it's a space where, um, you know, it's small and you kind of close the door most of the time. So don't feel like you're inhibited by the rest of the decor in your home. You know, of course you want it to relate, but have fun with it. Do some really cool things. Um, so just to page through a little further, you could do something really whimsical like these feathers that are kind of um, watercolored um, and some unique colors like blues and greens and oranges. Um, and then the neutrals again, you know, if you want to play it a little safe, some kind of like this splotchy mirrored kind of look, which is fun. And stripes. You can always have some fun with stripes. And um, when I get to another book, I'll show you another option that you can do with stripes as well. So within that Zofany and Harlequin um, wallpaper line, you know, we say this ain't your grandma's wallpaper, but you can still do grandma's wallpaper if you want. Um, we have a variety of um, design options, you know, such as something subtle that kind of feels very cottage oriented, um, the florals with the birds that everyone loves to do. And then the cool thing about some of our wallpaper books is we can bring in some fabrics that they already have coordinating with some of their wallpaper prints, which is really great. 
Um, you can go kind of subtle and do maybe some accent pillows in the space with your wallpaper, or be bold and do some drapery, and it all kind of coordinates very nicely together and kind of makes keep, keeps things simple for you. So one more book I wanted to show you in this line is um, this book um, by Scion, which is beautiful. It's kind of more your funky, more modern geometric prints. Um, the one I wanted to show you all about the stripes is this wallpaper. So, you know, it's shown where the stripes are running up and down, but you can kind of run those stripes sideways as well. So there's a lot of different things you can do that isn't so obvious right away, and I'd love to help you kind of figure those fun, interesting applications out with wall covering. Um, the other one I wanted to show you in this book um, was more of like a natural tie-dye kind of look, which would be really fun. You can do a cool accent wall, maybe a boy's room, or um, a basement den where you want to just do something funky and create an interesting mood to it. So I just thought that was pretty cool to show you. So we're going to come over here to the other side of our showroom and we're going to look at Tebow. Tebow is one of my favorite lines. I would say it's probably one of our most versatile lines. The one thing they're really known for is their interesting grass cloth patterns. Um, so this one's one of my favorites. It's a beautiful geometric but it kind of has a bamboo style to it with the geometric pattern. Of course in the gray because that's still um, very much so a trend right now and um, this is really transitional with a lot of different things you design in the space. Um, you know, and as you page through the book you'll see different metallic applications with grass cloth. You know, another interesting geometric pattern. Um, and I love using grass cloth that have a tiny bit of um, glamour to it. You know, when you hold it up vertically, it might not be obvious that there is a little glisten to it, but as you walk through the room where the lighting changes, you can really see that little sheen to it, which makes it extra beautiful. Um, and then you can kind of get into different colors, different textures, um, and then, you know, there's so many options. So it's a beautiful way of um, adding just a little bit of something to the space, but again, keeping it warm or cool, depending on the color that you select. Um, another book I wanted to show you in um, Tebow's line is their most recent Damask resource book. And Damask um, prints are so timeless. I love using them in more traditional spaces or even um, more kind of modern slash transitional spaces. You know, so you can kind of have something like this that seems very calm, um, something very classic, and then if you change to a black, it just kind of makes it fun and different. Um, so this was the book that we got our accent wall damask print from, um, which you can see again here. Um, and it just has a beautiful design to it. And then I also wanted to show you some other colors that it comes in. This one is very more metallic oriented, has some beautiful flocking, which is kind of like this raised fabric texture to the wallpaper, which is beautiful. Um, and different colors, you know, turquoise is a beautiful color to use as an accent wall um, and kind of define a little bit something in your space. I've had a few customers using that color in their home. Um, and then just some other subtle options, which are beautiful and are black again that we have on display. Um, and then another cool way of um, using a damask print is with this alligator print. So you want to kind of do something funky and fun. Um, this is so beautiful and classic still, but just in a different way of applying it with a, a deeper tone, which looks extra beautiful. The one last thing I wanted to show you with Tebow is um, they're really well known for doing their fun colors, but more classic prints. So you have more of a, a Carlequin design with a nice medallion print in the center. And here, this, perfect show, this picture shows perfectly of an application of coordinating the wallpaper with the coordinating drapery fabric. So here it all blends in very nicely, looks very classic and simple, but not saying too crazy and bold. Um, and then, you know, they have a lot of different varieties of types of prints. Something that has more of this, um, I don't know if you would call it like a Navajo kind of design, um, and unique textures and colors. Um, and then if we keep aging, you know, cool animal print in kind of like this light, airy blue, which looks beautiful. And they have some really great textiles too with Tebow. They can coordinate with pillows, um, upholstery pieces, ottomans. Um, and just to remind you, we do do reupholstery. So I'd be happy to help you kind of funk things up a little bit. Maybe this kind of fun green um, fabric on a little ottoman just to add a little pizzazz in your space. So another line that we have is York wall covering. Another great versatile line. They have a mixture of prints and patterns 
textures and neutrals, and something more modern, something more transitional. So we can really fit any type of style that you have in your home. Um, one of their great designers that they bring on board is Candace Olson. Um, and I love all her books. We have a couple of her books. And she just has a great um, variety of something that's really glamorous looking. Like this is one of my favorite new prints of hers, which I think just adds a beautiful splash, but really it's not too bad in price. So, you know, you can get that glimmer and splash without, you know, breaking the bank. So, um, you know, a cool neutral option. And then another cool um, thing that I love about her is she, you know, brings in a lot of the geometrics. And what I'm trying to page to is, here we go, her beaded products that she specifies um, with York, call, York, York wall covering. Um, so she always adds that glitter design to her geometric patterns, which I think look amazing in a dining room, a powder room. There's, there's so many different applications for it. Um, but it just adds a little extra wow factor to your home. And she keeps it pretty neutral. She doesn't do, go too crazy with colors. Um, and that's what I love about her, that everyone kind of feels like she, they can relate to her, um, especially when you see her on HGTV and stuff. Um, and then another direction I thought I'd show you is something more natural looking. So I thought I'd pull this and show this to you today. Um, it's this beautiful leaf pattern that actually is on this faux cork, which looks so beautiful and just maybe is perfect for your sunroom or a zen space, a space you want to do yoga in and just relax. Um, so I thought I'd talk to you about that. And then here's a very interesting um, wood tone, kind of wood look that you could really um, apply to maybe a space you entertain in or relax in, or just kind of want to add this like, wood kind of um, relaxing texture to the space. Um, and then we have some other unique wall coverings. This is along the line of the Zofrini Harlequin um, type of company. Um, but I wanted to show you some vinyl wall coverings. Typically when you talk about vinyl, you may think of it as an office space or maybe, um, you know, a hospital or something like that. But there's some really cool vinyl wall coverings um, that you could apply in your home. And sometimes we encourage people to um, apply them even like your backsplash in your kitchen or your bathroom. You may not be ready to invest in beautiful tile in your home yet, so this could be a great um, application where vinyl is very scrubbable and durable so you can really feel the texture and know that when you apply it into a space maybe a heavily used bathroom or um, in your kitchen that you can wipe it down and scrub it down and you don't have to worry about that issue that you may with something more natural feeling so I just thought I'd show you this book and there's a lot of other wall covering books that we have that maybe will be more subtle for you or bolder um, but I just thought I'd show you some really interesting patterns that just give a nice natural feel, kind of like the last book that we talked about. Um, and it's just very elegant and simple. And then the last line I want to talk to you about is our Philip Jeffries line. Um, Philip Jeffries has an amazing product that just gives you this beautiful elegance to your space. They're very well known for their grass cloth, um, which I want to find for you here. There's so many different options. If you want some crazy color in grass cloth, this is a great book and a great line to go to. Um, this one shows a more natural, subtle look to it, a more refined look to wall covering, um, grass cloth wall covering, which is one of my favorites. Um, but like I said, you, there's so many options. Um, the other thing I love about them is they bring in the textiles into the wall covering. So if you want kind of like a masculine wool look, um, they have some really great options. And one of my favorites patterns is herringbone. Um, maybe because my last name is Harrington, I don't know. Um, but I love herringbone patterns. I just think they're so elegant, sophisticated, and can be masculine or even feminine. So I thought I'd show you those two things out of this one book. And then they have a lot of great specialty wall coverings. Um, they're really well known for their studded application in textiles and grass cloth, um, which looks so beautiful and so stunning. Um, and then they also do fun murals. Like this would be absolutely beautiful in a space that you know you have a lot of natural finishes in, um, and you can just create this beautiful mural of a seascape, just to create a space where you can get away. And there's so many other color options too. Um, so I'd be happy to help you with your home and um, apply some beautiful wall covering. You don't have to feel like it's outdated or anything. It's still in. It's so um, perfect to kind of just add a little accent to your space. So I'd love to help you, and I hope to speak with you soon.